It's homecoming here in Tallahassee, and we've got your countdown to kickoff presented by Lowe's. He's Ryan Pensy. I'm Scott Kodak. And Ryan, homecoming this year against the Duke Blue Devils, but not your average Duke team. It's an outstanding football team, already bowl eligible, leading the Coastal, one of the best teams in the ACC. Well, I agree with you, Scott, and you look at it from top to bottom. This is a Duke team that if you don't play for four quarters, they will beat you. David Cutcliffe has an impressive resume over the years. He coached both of the Manning brothers, Peyton and Eli. He's got a quarterback of some similar stature this year in Sean Renfrey, and Renfrey's able to distribute the ball all over the field. Connor Vernon, I believe, is under 100 yards shy of breaking Peter Warwick's all-time receiving record in the ACC. This is a dangerous Duke football team, and I'm not sure you'd ever have said that in the past. The one thing Duke does exceptionally well is they rotate those two quarterbacks. They got that number seven that gets in there, likes to mix, mix things up with Sean Renfrey, the split, split things out. But the one thing Duke has this year is a defense. They can actually stop the run, and they're good at stopping the run. Florida State just can't come into this game and say, okay, we're just going to establish a run. We're going to be good to go. Duke's going to stop them. Well, you're right, and it's going to be interesting to see with the loss of Chris Thompson last week, who is that one player for Florida State? If you get into a situation where you need that big play, who steps up and makes it? We, you know, All season long, it seems like Chris Thompson was the guy to do that, but this is an opportunity now for guys like Devontae Freeman, James Wilder Jr., maybe it's even one of the wide receivers to come out there and make that big play that breaks the game open. But you're right, Duke's defense is stout, and uh, Florida State's going to have to be very, very multiple with them. The one thing we saw last week against Miami is something Ryan and I have been harping on the whole season. Florida State turned the ball over twice in the first quarter. Well, against Duke with that high-powered offense that can score on you any moment, Florida State just can't beat themselves. It's got to be the modus today. They can't come out and say, oh, first quarter, well, it's kind of be lack of, lackadaisical. Well, they got to play football. Well, they do. And if you look back at some of the losses that were uncharacteristic for Florida State over the years, even this year at NC State, there were those times where there was maybe a little of a lull or you had turnovers. You, you can't have either of those. You come out, you need to establish yourself. Let's not forget this was a Duke team that was up I believe 20 to nothing over Virginia Tech earlier this season before Virginia Tech was able to rally back at home. So Duke's not afraid and I think that's the big difference between Duke teams of the past. They're not going to be in awe when they walk into Doe Campbell Stadium. They're coming down here and they, they truly believe they can win this football game. Florida State just needs to go out there and prove that's not the case. Ryan, my keys to the game are first and foremost Florida State has to come out, put their foot on the gas, score early, score often, get some key defensive stops and really set the tone. Homecoming is a great opportunity here in Tallahassee, and if Florida State comes out, sets the tone early and often, Duke doesn't have the manpower and the horses to keep up. Now, if they don't, it's a different circumstance. Florida State has got to get going early. Well, it's all about momentum in this game. If Duke comes out and they believe that they have an opportunity early on and they can hang around into the second half, then uh, then you're right. This is could be a dangerous football game. Your Florida State has to come out and establish some early offense, get some momentum, move the ball down the field. You love what you saw against Boston College when they came out and they were firing the ball right down the field early and often, and I'm hoping that we see that again today. Everything kicks off just after 3.30 p.m. inside here at Doak. Televised on ESPN, you can follow everything you want to know about today's game by visiting Game Day Central on Seminoles.com forward slash game day. Enjoy homecoming, everyone, and we'll see you after the game.